Today I'd like to show you some tricks I've learned uh, for putting wrapped bands on tamari. This is um, a simple division. I've got an equator around the middle. I have a um, very long length of pearl cotton. What I plan to do is to put um, a wrap with five uh, a band with five wraps on each side of this guideline. So to measure my length of thread, I've simply wrapped it around the ball ten times and added um, about six to eight inches for starting and stopping. When I'm doing wrap bands, I like to put a knot in the end because there will be a really long length without um, anything attached to the ball. So I enter the ball about an inch away from my starting point. I'm going to start right next to the equator line and close to a vertical guideline. Pull this through and pop it so the knot goes just right down under. Now I'm going to wrap and lay the thread right next to the guideline. Not much tension here, just do it so it lays nicely on the ball. There's once. Now what you can do I lose track a lot, so I like to put um, a marking pin. This is the guideline where I started. So I'll know when I finish, when I've got five times around. It's easier to count. Doing my third wrap. There's four. One more time around, it's going to complete this side. All right. Now you can see if I just cross over this guideline and sink the needle right down in, that'll be five wraps completely on this side. If you go ahead and end off this way, then you're, um, your guideline is going right in, in the same direction and it's not distorted any. So now I've turned the ball around and I want to do the same number of wraps on the other side. I'll just stitch underneath that band and come up next to the equator line and a vertical guideline and do the same thing on this side. Third row. This makes four. Okay. One more time around. And then back to the guideline where the red pin is. Now let's push these in together. I'm going to end off just across. That ends that. And now to secure it, I just like to take a stitch back in the other direction. And cut this off even with the surface of the ball. Now I'll just nudge these in towards the center so they're all lined up, snug together. Now I'm going to add another band around this tamari. I have five rows of blue added on each side of the equator line and I've threaded up some light brown pearl cotton um, to make a band across the vertical guideline. I'm going to show you how I like to interlock them. Um, I usually turn it so that the side that um, I'm working on is, is parallel like this and I'll wrap below the guideline. So since I'm going to interlock them, I'm going to be weaving and I want to start by bringing my thread up between these two sets of five. 
Um, I never weave under a guideline. I always weave over it. So make sure um, that you're not ever going under a guideline. And I like to pass the thread under the first set and over the second set. So here I um, enter the ball about an inch away. And I bring it up um, just before the guideline and just under that first set of five blue lines. This, once again, I've measured off ten wraps around the ball and added a little bit extra for starting and stopping. So when I get to the other side, I want to turn my needle around and weave under the first set of blue lines and over the second set. Make sure you don't catch any of the, of the thread wraps so that um, that thread can still slide and you're, you're on top of the metallic guideline. Don't weave under it. Let me get back to the other side. Same thing. Weave under the five pearl cotton. Now the guideline. So now I've completed five wraps on the lower side of this guideline um, and I want to end off so that I can move to the other side and wrap on the other side of the guideline. So I will take my stitch right under the band and that ends off five and then I'm going to turn this upside down and come back and do the same thing below the guideline here. Bring my thread up under under the f um, five blue pearl cotton threads and just before the gold metallic guideline I have it stitched under that and then I'm going to wrap around to this side and just the same as I did before I'm going to weave under the five pearl cotton and then over So weave under and then over. And I'll keep going with this until I have five rows underneath this uh, metallic guideline and then I'll end off and this will be complete.